Hey there, this is Teddy Benson with Omi Graphics. Uh, this is part of our video series, How We Do It. And today we are going to be packing prints to ship. And in this case, we are going to actually be going over how to roll uh, works on paper to be shipped in a tube. So uh, generally with Omi Graphics, we'll either be shipping uh, flat packages or with tubes. And uh, for the most part, shipping with a tube is a little bit less expensive and uh, it's actually kind of accommodates shipping uh, larger works uh, a bit more than shipping it in a flat package. Um, you know, the setbacks of rolling a print will be that uh, they may arrive to the framer or client uh, a little bit curled, but um, Generally speaking, it'll take, you know, not too much time for those prints to flatten out, especially if they're not in the mail for very long. So today we're just going to be going over the um, kind of intricacies of rolling prints. In this case, we have three prints by Deborah Zlotsky that are going out to a client. And um, so what I did uh, to start this process was I actually cleaned the press bed uh, thoroughly with uh, rubbing alcohol and water because we use watercolor inks as well as oil-based inks. So I wanted to make sure that our surface to roll on uh, is nice and clean. Um, so uh, um, if you don't have a printing press or anything, just a long table, making sure it's very, very clean uh, to roll prints, that's totally fine. In this case, we're doing it on the press bed. So uh, underneath the prints here, um, and actually what we use in between the prints. Uh, it's the same thing, it's called interleaving. Uh, we order it from a brand called Cerex. And uh, essentially this will um, help protect the prints from um, the tube. Um, if the tube is, you know, has any sort of residue on it or, um, you know, you just don't want this bare paper wherever the um, interleaving is not to be touching this tube. So. Um, I cut this bottom piece of interleaving to be about 12 inches um, on either end um, longer than the print. So it's a, around 24 inches longer than the print. And that should be totally fine to protect the print while rolling um, along with the interleaving that's in between the prints. So that's our number one uh, priority here is just to make sure that the prints are in pristine condition uh, through the rolling process and uh, allowing our clients or whoever's unpacking the prints to be able to unpack them in a way that uh, does not damage the prints at all. So uh, I stacked these prints, they're all the same size, and I made sure that they're, uh, you know, stacked perfectly together. Um, and so we don't want them to be wonky at all. We want them all to be aligned perfectly. So the first step that I do after I've aligned the prints on top of this interleaving is I'm actually going to fold the part that's closest to me of the interleaving uh, down against this edge of the print. So I'm, the interleaving doesn't necessarily crease very well, but it will hold um, uh, essentially this little line that I'm folding. So I'm going to have, my, my goal here is actually to have this edge of the interleaving fold over and match perfectly with the edge on the bottom here. So I'm making this crease, making sure that these edges are aligned. And my goal right now is to shimmy this stack of prints against this crease. So it's nice and tight. And that way I know when I'm rolling it that the interleaving and the prints are all aligned as one. And so I'm just kind of gently shuffling the prints a little bit down into this crease while looking at the edge of the interleaving. I need to go a little bit down on this side. And that looks pretty darn good. So right now, I'm actually just gonna slide this a little bit forward. And I'll use this little tape roll right here just to weight that down for one second. I'm actually gonna switch this out. Okay, 
So what I'm gonna do now actually is we're going to roll this, uh, this package essentially into or around this inner tube, which will go inside of the outer tube. This inner tube is four inches in diameter and the outer tube is six inches in diameter. Uh, and so we're gonna be able to just uh, pop this into the outer tube once it's all rolled up. So, all the prints are staying put here. So, what I'm going to do now is, using packing tape, measuring out a little bit wider than our inner leaving. I'm going to end up shimmying this piece of tape upside down so the adhesive side is face up. I'm just gonna shimmy this underneath, which takes a little bit of finesse sometimes. I'm gonna just shimmy it right underneath this inner leaving. Sometimes you just gotta lift it up a little bit. This is one of the trickiest parts of the process. Okay, so I have, a, I have about half of this tape underneath the interleaving and then the other half will be sticking to the inner tube. So I'm just double checking again, my interleaving and my prints, making sure everything's aligned and that edge is right against the crease, edge of the prints. And also I want the prints to be pretty much equidistant, like in the center of this interleaving. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. So I'm gonna just gently place the inner tube against on top of this creased interleaving without touching the tape yet. And this is a very, very important part is we're gonna try to essentially roll this tube so that it kind of comes down off of this step at the same exact point on all throughout the whole tube. So I'm really making sure that this is parallel to the crease that I made that I butted the prints up against. So I'm looking at this very, very carefully. I'm about to roll it down. And it's just really important that you get it nice and square. So I'm actually rolling right now over that crease. And now the tape is adhering to the inner tube. And I will carefully roll this forward. And as you can see, this crease is now taped to our inner tube. And right now I'm putting a decent amount of tension on this package on the inner tube. I'm just gonna roll this forward gently. And once I get over top, my goal is to have this edge right here and this edge just fall completely along this line. So I'll, I'll unroll it if I do see that that line is not hitting the edge right there. You'll be able to tell um, if you're misaligning it, but I'm just going very, very slow. It seems like I'm very much on line right now. I'm putting a lot of weight down making sure that there's no loose parts or anything. It's a very, very tight roll. And this looks great. See, this edge is just falling right nicely against the edge that hasn't been rolled up yet. And I'm just still putting pressure on it as I'm rolling it forward. And that looks great. I'm still really, really keeping this tight here. And here's the end of the interleaving. I've already uh, cut three pieces of artist tape with little tabs. So I'm ready to go to seal this up. And 
This is archival artist tape that we're using uh, to seal this down. So I only really need three pieces, but I'm really making sure that's nice and tight. Last one. So now that I have those taped down, I can let go for a second. I'll just inspect the edges again. It seems like, you know, you can actually see if it's misaligned. Um, you'll kind of see that that edge kind of tapers off to the side. But in this case, everything's very much in line. So that's good. So this is the part of the Rolling Prints video where we're doing really big prints and we're going to do two different layers. So I have this one all ready to go. And I have taped together a little additional interleaving, which comes 36 inches wide because my print is larger than that. Um, then I'm gonna fold over this excess like this and make a nice crease. Okay, so that's round one. I'm gonna put this aside. Then I'm gonna get, oops, not too hot. Don't drop your shoe. And then I'm gonna get the second round ready. The second print. And it's the same thing, folding it. So now I'm gonna be adhering, adhering this piece directly to that. Yeah. So again, I slide this under. I'm using my thumbs on the leading edge of the tape, and I'm just shimmying it under the edge like that. And then I'm pressing this down. And then I'm going to tape this. I want the tape to be somewhere like right around here, not where the other tape is. So I need to kind of position this right here. And I want to make sure that this is inside of this. So. Like this. Pull this tighter. And. Roll backwards. Press down. Roll forwards. And hear this. So now the two prints are adhered together in layers. And then I do the same thing, roll forward. Hopefully it's lining up. I'm not sure about this one. That's pretty good. So I keep going until I find the seam and then I tape it and it's good. So I'm using packing tape again and here's the edge of the interleaving. I'm gonna want the tape to go pull that interleaving that way instead of uh, the opposite way. I'm going with this direction of the interleaving. So about one inch out or so, I'll start. I don't wanna to tape too close to the prints. And you can actually be kind of a little bit more heavy handed with this, just making sure to Okay, a little bit clear of the prints. I am just cinching this down, pulling it pretty tight, and I'm just wrapping this all the way until I get to the inner tube. And then what I'll do is I'll actually be really uh, conscious of stopping this tape right where the edge of the interleaving is. So it's a little bit easier for our client or whoever's opening the package to locate where to pull this tape off gently. So I'm just folding a little bit of a tab here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Make a little tab. And that's pretty good, that's all sealed up. And then our last finishing touch here is really, really gently just marking these tape tabs 
so that it's easier for whoever's opening the package to find the easiest points to unwrap. So I'm doing a few arrows on this red, on this uh, packing tape in red, so it's a little easier for them to see. Before we put this in the, in the tube, in the outer tube, I'll actually just wrap this in bubble wrap. So, made sure that the wrap was a little bit longer than the tube itself. Now I'm just gonna roll this up nice and tight. And again with the tape tabs, just so it's a little easier for whoever's unpacking to make it a little bit more swift for them, user friendly. And then I'll just fold in this extra slack that we have here inside of the tube. And here we are with what will go inside of the outer tube. Um, so here's the outer tube. And to prepare uh, shipping this outer tube, I have uh, staple gunned the inside of this lid that will be the bottom. And then I've actually wrapped duct tape around, did some duct tape straps, and then covered it with packing tape. I generally cover things with packing tape. Uh, if there's duct tape underneath, it doesn't necessarily adhere as well to cardboard or cardstock like this. Um, so packing tape will just make sure that everything will kind of stay together. Now on the inside of the tube, we have some bubble wrap. We'll put bubble wrap scraps at the bottom of the tube, kind of like cannon fodder. And then we'll just put this gently inside the tube here. And what I want is for this package to be able to be um, kind of rattled or shook and not have the inner tube move at all. So this is actually pretty, this will be pretty snug. And I have my lid right over here. And I'll just pound that in. And I'll grab my staple gun. And we'll just staple from the inside towards the out. I'll do about five or six staples in here. This really, really ensures that the lid does not pop off while it's in transit. That is our biggest uh, thing we're fighting against here is for everything to be nice and snug in the tube and for it to not fall apart in the mail. Make sure all these little staples are nice and snug and not loose at all. And so with the bottom of the tube, you saw that we used duct tape. I'm actually only gonna use packing tape on the top of the tube here. Um, just knowing that there are staples and uh, a decent amount, a heavy amount of packing tape will be just fine for the top of this package. So I'm just gonna go around the circumference here packing tape. And I'll fold this over. Making sure that this is nice and padded down. Then I'll do a few packing tape straps across the top. We generally would do about three of these in all the directions. 
And then I'll just do a nice wrap around. Okay. So now our finishing touches are just going to include just writing, please open this end. And it'll be a little bit easier for our client to open this end than the duct tape end. The both will be nice and secure, but this end will be a little bit more user friendly. So I'm just gonna tape right over that so it doesn't smudge. And then uh, all we need to do now is uh, just add the shipping label. Um, and then we'll have a release form in an envelope, just like this that we'll tape to the front. And it's the same copy of the release form that's on the inside of the tube. Uh, it's just our protocol to have one copy on the inside of the package, one on the out. And then we'll have a, just one shipping label with the handwritten address of wherever this is going. So uh, again, this is Teddy Benson with Omi Graphics. This is how you do it. This is how you ship uh, works on paper in a tube. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, and we'll be keeping this video series going, uh, covering all sorts of things in our print shop. Thanks for joining.